We all know that we should be adding chapters to our YouTube videos, don't we? But uh, I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes uh, it's something that I don't always get around to. And part of the reason is just the process of going around, watching the video back, figuring out where those uh, markers need to be, uh, jotting them down, copying and pasting them into the description. Uh, I'm making excuses here, but there's always a little bit of friction for me to do this. Well, fortunately, there is a really easy way to do this now with TubeBuddy. So uh, let's have a little look at the uh, TubeBuddy chapter feature that was recently added. So I'm over here now in a video that I've just made and I haven't got any chapter markers in here. There are two places where we can access this function. Uh, first of all is if I just bring this up a little bit and scroll down you'll see that uh, not here through the description <laughs> but rather down here you'll see we've now got this button here that says uh, add chapters. Uh, you can also access it though when you go into any video from this little tube buddy icon just here underneath the thumbnail at the top left. And then you've got uh, in here, there it is, miscellaneous. And you've got the chapter editor just there. So clicking on either one of those things is going to bring up a view like this. It will start the video playing. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new features that have been... Uh, I'm quite sick of hearing my own voice. This is part of the reason why I don't like adding in chapter markers, because it means I have to go and listen to myself back. One way that I do do this, though, is I do always come over to here to this little uh, cogwheel before I start listening back. And so as to half the agony, I uh, actually just increase the speed here to uh, playback speed is uh, double. <laughs> so that it gets it over and done with as quick as possible. Uh, and now the way that this works is I'll just turn the volume down on here just so that you are not going to actually hear it on my Rodecaster. But now what you'll notice is over here on this side, you'll see that it has actually already put in that first introduction check mark. Uh, it gives you uh, some of the rules that uh, you need to be aware of in, um, in adding in chapters in YouTube. Uh, this is not a tube buddy. This is just a general thing on YouTube, but it does actually explicitly state them here. Uh, so chapters must include a minimum of uh, three chapters. So within the video, you have to have a minimum of three if you are going to use chapters. All chapters must be at least 10 seconds long. So you can't just have a load of chapters really close together for, uh, I don't know, SEO spamming or something like that. Uh, and then the next one is all chapters must have titles. So all you do, though, is you click on the play button and you play back your video. And uh, this is now playing back. Uh, I can't hear it at the moment, but if I was doing this properly, I would do. And what you can notice is that as well as having the timeline moving along here, we've also got this timeline moving along just down here. Uh, and if we've come to a key area where we want to add in a chapter, all we do is we just click on the little plus and you'll notice that it's paused the video uh, and then it's come over here and it's created this chapter and it's already put in the time. So let's just say uh, this is uh, whatever I was talking about there. Let's call that software update. This was about the Stream Deck software update. So uh, I can't talk and type. <laughs> so there we go. Assume I've just typed in a really relevant title there. And then what we do is we come back over to here and we hit the play button again and the playhead's moving and then it's still moving down here as well. So we'll let that play out a little bit. You could also just jump around if you know that you've uh, jumped around. You don't have to actually watch the whole thing back. So if I say, okay, well, there, that was definite transition. I could just click into here and you can see that this timeline has moved along as well. So this is where I'm going to start talking about the next section. So click on the plus. Once again, it's paused it. It's come over here, inserted the new chapter, and this is the uh, next chapter. Uh, so that is the way that this works. As you can see, pretty simple. Uh, I can move forward to another step, add another chapter in there. Uh, and let's call this the final chapter. And there we go. So then once you've done that, all you do is uh, you can copy to clipboard and it will copy all of that text to clipboard. Maybe you want to use this somewhere else as well, um, but you can also just click in here, add to video. Uh, when you click add to video, as you can see, it says your chapters have been added to the description. Please review and click on save. So just click on OK. It hasn't been added until you click on the save because what's happened is if you come down to the very bottom of your description, uh, it's basically just added these uh, chapter markers just there to the very end in the format that they need to be for YouTube. So chapters need to start with this 00 colon 00 and then uh, introduction or whatever you want to call it. And it's just added in all of those chapters there. If you did want to uh, then make sure that you save those, all you would do then is just click on the save button up there. This makes it really streamlined. It saves the whole sort of starting and stopping or maybe looking at it in your editor or whatever and then uh, adding them into a text edit or typing them directly in here. Just a really slick, seamless way to do it. TubeBuddy has been a real lifeline in terms of uh, starting my YouTube channel and with the continued growth of it and the sort of analytics and things like that. Uh, I highly recommend it.
You can get a free trial at takeonetech.io slash TubeBuddy. And to really get the most out of it, what I really recommend is that you check out my TubeBuddy playlist, which is coming up, which will teach you about all of the different features of it. So I'll see you in those videos.